Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at Deepwater Palace in adventure mode and I apologize I hadn't done this for a tanks yet. I thought I had, um, so I am doing this with an old video I have laying around of one of our runs. So here uh, for the pull for the tanks, it can be a little tricky. What I do is I run a little close as I can to the boss and I hit my shield, my ranged shield attack and then I roll or flash back while I taunt. Um, so that way the boss follows me. DPS will have to hold off on attacking until after the boss is in position and you have him turned around. Now here you saw the lines which you just avoid and the, um, the image of him behind him. It's always important if you're not tanking to be behind the boss. Now if you haven't seen my version of this in adventure mode please or in sorry normal mode please check the description because I specifically go over the placement which is very important of where you should be standing as a tank. If you're the person who is currently tanking you want the boss to be facing the room. You do not want him facing the doorway. Um, so here we're standing in front of the boss until I get eight stacks and the next tank takes it and then I move behind the boss. Now you're going to want to move directly behind the boss so that he is, you're kind of centered behind him. If you're off to the side, when he does the cleave, it will turn and possibly kill a lot of your teammates. If you happen to see an ad running around, just go ahead and grab him if you're at the off tank and bring him back over to the boss. It's important that he stays with the tanks so that he doesn't hit any of the DPS or healers. So just grab him and make sure he stands with you at the tanks. Now here in the background, they're doing share damage. Uh, tanks, you can take one share damage on you, but not two. So if you get a share damage, that's fine. If you get a second share damage, somebody has to run either behind the pillar, which is the way we do it, or um, to your code numbers for um, these, the number of markers in the background if that is the way your guild does the codes. Now here we are doing um, the ads. You have the scorpions and the octopus. If you happen to get purple text over your head, we take it to the boss. If you get orange text over your head, we go over to the orange marker, which is kind of off behind where the camera is, um, closest to you know where you would be facing. Uh, and th that way the scorpions are separate from the octopus. You have to kill the scorpions first, wait for the buff to drop off, and then kill the octopus. At 68%, everybody moves back towards their totems. Here I'm going to the totem in the corner, and I'm going to start collecting potions at the top. Now I start with the one off to the side of the boss, and then the one under the boss, and then I move around. And in the top, I am going to taunt the ad inside the totem where I am assigned to, and I will then um, make sure that the DPS doesn't get hit by this. Now I have the other window open above where um, the raid frame would be. So healers, uh, I will do a separate video for DPS and healers, but it, just like in normal mode, if you have blue text, a blue kind of overlay over the people's names who are in the totem with you, you need to use big heals to um, get rid of, to heal off that buff. So above uh, that was normal mode. So I was, we finished the potions faster. But just keep collecting potions until the bosses are done and you get ported back into the room. Just tanks bring the ad or the boss back over to where he is should be positioned and continue as you were. Okay, so tanks we are switching at eight stacks. Now for this, there's the lines. You can taunt while the lines are up, but do not taunt again until after the cleave. So here's the cleave. It's just a short break. Sometimes there's a longer one. But if you taunt in between those lines and the cleave, you'll end up turning the cleave around and hitting the whole raid with that. So that's really important not to do between those. And again, the normal video I had for tanking kind of shows that clearer. So again, you can taunt if the lines are still up, but once the lines are gone, don't taunt if you have to switch stacks. Up next will be share damage. So just continue to DPS the boss and again stand right behind him and then switch off at eight stacks. Now for this we are using, oh and also get grab that ad if you can, are an off tank. Now um, for this we're using three tanks because we have one of the totems, there's four totems in total, one of the totems has a DPS kind of tanking the totem. 
Um, if your DPS can't handle that, you're going to need to have four tanks. So here um, you can see I'm sharing damage on the boss because I have shared damage. So if another tank were to get shared damage, they cannot stay on the boss. You can see the shared damage going behind the pillar in the back. That way the, um, the boss does not jump to uh, the shared damage. Instead, he is kind of stays where he is supposed to be. So again, um, we have three tanks here uh, because we are able to handle one DPS kind of tanking those totems. If you can't, then you're gonna need four tanks. Um, and so just make sure you have the appropriate number and they know which totem to go into. Now here you saw some of the tanks had orange text over their head. So you're gonna move off to the side where that marker is. You can kind of see the scorpion legs below the raid frame. And in front of us would be the octopus where the boss is. So um, once that what first buff dropped off now you could see there's another buff for the scorpions we're getting close to 33 percent so we are moving over to where the totems are and we're going to have the potion gathering again so i wanted to show the potions here because in normal mode we actually have the tanks collect them you start with the potion off towards the side of the boss then the one under the boss and then move around be careful not to get too close to a totem or you will get sucked in. You don't click on a totem or anything, you just stand near it um, and it will port you in. So if you're collecting the potions, they're more spread out in um, adventure, or in the second round, sorry, than they are in the first. And there's less of them. So it's really important only one person is assigned to collecting the potions. For this, we usually use a healer to collect potions in adventure mode, but anyone could do it. So again, in the um, totem, inside the totem, we're just killing this boss. Avoid the lines. Uh, healers use big heals if you get that blue kind of over everybody's name. And you have to all DPS the boss down until um, it, before the time runs out. Once you're done, just go ahead and go out and continue with the mechs. Now, if you have made it this far, it's pretty much just the same thing for tanks. Just switch off at eight stacks. Uh, avoid switching between the lines. If you are an off tank and those lines come back towards you, just try to stay back center as much as you can. Avoid going off to the side because it'll turn the cleave. Um, and then just, you know, again, continue to switch off and grab an, the ad if you see him. You can kind of see the ad in the front there um, and somebody will grab that ad. Um, and then continue on with the lines and the boss will be dead shortly. So um, hopefully you found this helpful. I'm going to do a separate video for DPS because their mechanics are very different from that of the tanks. Uh, if you are in a normal mode and you feel that you need the tanks to go into the totem, you can. We do not for normal mode. We have the tanks stay out the whole time and they are the ones who collect the potions. And sometimes we only use two tanks um, for normal mode instead of the three to four that we use in adventure. So um, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, we're just going to continue with the share damage and the DPS and switching of tanks until the boss is dead, which should be just any minute. So uh, you're watching VGO40 and this is VGO Girl. And thank you for watching and we will see you next time.